Hi, this is Brian Fogarty, and this is a video for Chapter 8 of the book Quantitative Social Science Data with R, 2nd edition. So what we're going to do in this video is look at histograms. Um, and we are just going to look at, in this video, uh, histograms with one variable. So histograms are very similar to bar plots, except the main difference is that histograms uh, we use some type of continuous variable, so like interval ratio level. Um, aesthetically, the main difference <laughs> between a bar plot and a histogram is that a uh, histogram doesn't have spaces between the bars, uh, which bar plot does. So we're just going to do a real basic one um, in this video. In the next video, we'll do one that's a little more complicated uh, using two variables. So in the VF England data that we used uh, previously, we don't have any variables that are interval ratio, except, I mean, we have age, but that's kind of a boring one to do. Uh, so let's, let's use the, the 2020, the 2020 Scottish index of multiple deprivation data. So uh, it is a CSV file, so I'm going to save it as uh, object SIMD, read it in with read underscore CSV and then the name of it is right SIMD 2020 dot CSV and then the missing values are represented by star asterisks there okay so we've 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 used this before in previous videos and throughout the book and in the chapters um, so I don't need to go into it all right so we are going to uh, manipulate um, a couple of the variables here um, and we're going to save, oops, we're going to save this uh, as new variables. All right, so first what we're going to do is just rename um, all the variables uh, to make them lowercase. So we're going to do rename with to lower, okay? And then we're going to use the mutate function, and we are going to create a variable called um, percent underscore depressed. So this is the percentage of uh, people receiving psychiatric medication prescriptions. All right, if just, just to remind you, this is the unit of analysis here are data zones. So this is at the data zone level. And um, the original variable is all uppercase depressed, but we made it so that it's all too lower. So it's just depressed. And then we're going to multiply it by 100 to create the, per oh, not 1,000, 100 to create the percentage. And then we are going to um, label the urban variable that we have to o urban underscore FCT, which actually is not, but it works. Um, we're going to do urban, right? That's the original variable name. And then we're going to say, uh, the current value that's one set equal to oh, urban and the current value that's zero set equal to rural. Okay, so let's run that and hopefully there's no errors. Okay, now let's take a look at these variables real quickly. Um, we're gonna do a summary for percent depressed. We're doing this here mostly to check for missing values. Okay, so there's one missing value here. All right, so we're going to need to filter that out in our in our um, visualization. And then let's just double check for uh, urban FCT. So we're going to use count urban underscore FCT. All right. So there's no missing values here. Okay, so again, we're going to do a really simple uh, histogram. And uh, we're just doing it with percent depressed because this is one variable. <laughs> and you'll be like, why are you doing the recoding? So we're going to use this urban FCT for the next one um, on two variables. So it's, you know, it's good to do them together since it's on the same topic. All right. So to do one, to do a histogram with a single variable, we're going to start with the data, so SIMD. We're going to use the filter function to remove that one missing value that is in percent depress. 
All right. Then we're going to use the ggplot. Oh, is that right? Yeah, ggplot function, then plus, and then uh, the function here for histogram is geom underscore histogram. All right, so if you remember before with bar plots, we had geom underscore bar. This is geom underscore histogram. All right, we're going to do mapping equals AES, the aesthetics. Here we just need one because it's single variable, percent to press. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set what's known as the bin width. And the bin width is just, it's just the thickness of the bars. Um, so the bin width tells us how many, um, so like what values on the x-axis falls into each of these bars. So if we do here a bin width, whoop, bin width equal to one, that means for per percent to press, um, we have a bar um, for each each single percent. So like one, two, three, four, five, etc. Or zero, I guess zero through. <laughs> All right. Um, that's probably the main aesthetic choice we make with with histograms is the bin width. Um, if it's not right, ggplot will yell at us. It didn't yell at us, so it's happy. If we did it without it, then it will yell at us, but it's fine. You just do it to, you know, you really do it to, to what makes sense to you. Um, okay, um, let's, let's look at this real quick. So again, this is real basic. So this is telling us where um, the data zones lie on percent to press. We just have count on the y-axis. So we see that most, you know, there's sort of a mass here in the middle between, say, roughly, I don't know, what, 12, 13%, and 25, 26%, something like that. Um, this just gives us an idea how things are, are laid out. Okay. All right, so um, that's it for this video. I just want to take a quick look here at doing a single variable histogram. All right, so thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.